um hey 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 youtube welcome in welcome in welcome to week 49 of sew up to glow up tuesday with your girl unbiased llc um let me know in the chat if you guys can hear me e money welcome in king making with maryland welcome in queen and today we will be doing some embroidery with a twist of applique with a twist of patchwork so if any of you guys seen my last video which was the patchwork hat and clutch my daughter fell in love with that right so i made her a patchwork piece okay so we're gonna use this on her shirt today okay um listening and driving thank you cruising anytime can you hear me um on youtube let me know please um okay so TikTok, welcome in user uh sister mary clarence welcome in fairly long welcome in kenneth welcome in y'all tap the screen please <laughs> so that you know this channel can grow share this live out on TikTok. welcome in facebook as well so i'm here okay i'm on facebook TikTok and YouTube. So y'all just bear with me. Okay. This is week 49. I'm sorry, 48 of So Up to Glow Up Tuesday. Um, hey, fabulous 32. Welcome in, Queen. I know you're working. I appreciate you for stopping by and being here. Um, I don't understand what's going on with okay. So let's pin that. I don't know. Um, so yes okay yes you can hear me okay cool so what i'm going to do today is show you guys the design i'm going to actually go into in, in brilliance essential and pull my design from created fabrica okay and then bring it into in brilliance essential so that you guys can see how to actually Get a design from Creative Fabrica and then bring it into In Brilliance, download it and use it for your personal use. Okay. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, and if I miss anybody in the chat, y'all, please, I apologize. Um, I'm trying to do 500 things at once, but I appreciate Facebook, I appreciate YouTube, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for being here. So, what I'm gonna have to do for TikTok is try to turn them around if I can so that they can see my screen. Oh, y'all, I'm learning how to work this thing. Okay. All right. So we got this. We got this up. And hopefully y'all stay still. Welcome in everybody on TikTok. So I'm going to share my screen. Hey, Miss Deborah Gary, welcome in, Queen. Um, Charlotte Fells, welcome in, Queen. I'm going to share the tab, a window, and I am going to. Um, okay, wait. Cancel that. I'm going to share, and then I need to find this and then i'm going to pull in creative fabrica okay so for all of you who may or may not know creative fabrica you can oh i got all the screens in okay whatever creative fabrica you can get embroidery designs hey martika welcome in queen Shara faulkner welcome in queen hey kiara bias welcome in queen you can get designs from here okay so i'm going to go to needlework i'm going to select the embroidery right and in the embroidery section i'm going to type butterflies because that's what my daughter wanted she wants a butterfly for her design so i'm going to type in the word butterfly and on the side over here it says embroidery so i just click embroidery that way it, it just will eliminate all of the other 
files and designs and whatever not okay so i'm gonna show you the one that i selected which was this one so i'm going to click this one okay and then i'm going to download it which i already have so all you have to do is press download i'm not going to do that because i've already have this in my file okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my file which is my embroidery files and i'm going to find the butterfly that i put in let me go to search because i don't want to do all of that uh butterfly Oh, why is it doing that? Okay, hold on, y'all. I think my computer just timed out on me or something. Um. Okay, give me a second. Let me figure out why this is doing that. I may be able to find it in my... Over here. Uh... And it's right here. So I'm going to double click this. And if you see down here, it's, it pulled it up in my in brilliance, right? So this is the design. Hey, Stephanie Calloway, welcome in, Queen. This is the design that I have for my daughter's shirt, okay? So, hey, TikTok, welcome in. Remember when I knocked out you and you what okay so how can we block this person okay so this is the design so what i need to do is i need to change the frame size right because at the bottom you see where it's red down here right here that means that my butterfly does not fit my frame so what I need to do is change my frame to fit my butterfly. And so you're going to go up to this yellow button, which says preferences. You're going to find the frame that you need, which I know that is 200 by 300, which is a 12 by 8 frame. Okay. I will be using my Mighty Hoops for this. So we good to go. So this butterfly comes in at five seven eight by five three eight i enlarge the butterfly because that's too small hey latricia latricia welcome in queen um i enlarged the butterfly because to me it was just too small so what i did was i just took one of these handles which is like a little square and um, so if you look at the square and then you keep your eye on the part at the bottom. Oh, y'all can't see me doing that. Right here, it's going, the, the, the size is going to change. Also, the number of stitches will change right here. So what I'm going to do is grab one of these handles and I'm just going to extend it out. Just like that. And it's best to use the handle so that all of your design stays in one piece. It doesn't break up. One doesn't get stretched out more than the other and all of that good stuff. Okay. So what am I doing here? Oh, um, hold on y'all. I am trying to, I was trying to go into the live on TikTok, but it's not allowing me to. Uh, but I appreciate everybody on the TikTok side for being here. So this is my design. And I normally, y'all, change the color of my designs just because I can see them better. Okay. So right now it's telling me that I have, 10,331 stitches to complete. I always, most of the time, take my stitches and turn them up a notch. 
because sometimes when you get um patterns and designs from other people they like stuff to be light and i kind of like it to be dramatic if that makes any sense so what i do is since my butterfly is selected you can see it on this blue panel right here where it's highlighted blue you can see that it's selected i go and i press this button that says stitches right here in the middle and i take my satin uh fill up just about five i start off at five percent and then i raise it up to ten percent right just to see how many stitches will be added so y'all keep in mind we have 10,331 stitches right now. If I take my satin stimulator, uh, this button, and move it over to 5%, like so, I have 10,655 stitches now. So it added about 270 some odd stitches for me to stitch out well i'm probably gonna take that up another five um percent so i'm gonna go up to ten percent and now i'm at eleven thousand and fourteen stitches so this is probably the one that i'm going to choose why because if you look at the butterfly let me let me pull one in that was original and that way you can see the difference hold on just a second let me let me open up a new file i'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like um open up a new page okay and then i'm going to go and find that same file uh right here and it's over here okay so what i'm gonna do is take this file listen to me i'm gonna take this file and I'm just going to change the color real quick to let's make this one this color. Nope, that's not going to, you're not going to be able to see it. Okay, we're going to make this one this color. I am going to copy this and put it back on the one that we just finished making. I'm going to add it. And if you can see on the outside of this, how thicker the lines are right here here so let me change the color of this one and maybe you can see it a little bit better and i'll come to the chat in just a second you guys so do y'all see how thick thicker those lines are versus the original copy let me know in the chat if y'all see it hey sister some soil and more thank you for being here queen and thank y'all to the purple patch crew members um thank you for being on facebook as well y'all don't forget to press the like button tap the screen on TikTok. let me know y'all here okay i appreciate you um and if you can look in at the inside of it you can tell that these stitches are thicker than they are over here i'm hoping you guys can see that okay so i'm going to get rid of this one the one that we don't want i'm just going to click it make sure in this panel it's blue this is the one that we want and i'm just going to press delete so now i'm going to click our design and i'm going to center the design and what you do is you go up to the top panel and this icon right here will center your design so we are all done my suggestion for the new people is print it out send this design after you saved it with the name that you want this is my name over here which says kiera and it gives the size i always put the size when i file it so when i save it my my save is kiera butterfly a seven by six it may be a little bit bigger than seven and a little bit bigger than six but at least i have a reference right because i may go back and use this same butterfly and do her just a three by three which is for like the chest logo or the arm sleeve or the back of her shirt and i don't want to keep 
looking at the seven by six when I need a three by three. So if I had to make a new one, I'm going to put Kiera Butterfly three by three. So try your best if you can to organize your stuff in that way. And it will save you so much time when you're looking for design. Okay. I hope that I'm making sense. Welcome in, Miss Patty. I appreciate you for being here, Queen. Um, so hopefully that made sense to you guys. If I took you a little fast, I apologize. But um, if there are any questions, you can ask me now. I am looking at the chat. Um, thank you, Tamika, for being here on TikTok. Um, Ash, welcome in, Ash. I appreciate you for being here. Self Love Queen 76, thank you for being here as well um so that's that and so the way that you save your files i'm gonna do a stitch simulator so you guys can see what it looks like when it's going to stitch out so this is my stitch simulator up here this little button that looks like a needle and it's got arrows okay so once you press play it's going to show you how the design will stitch out Stitch by stitch, stitch by stitch, okay? Tianda Dunn, welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you for being here. Um, passionately intrigued, welcome in, Queen. Joshua J Gabriel, welcome in, King. I appreciate you for being here. And so this is what we're going to have at the end of our stitches. And I'm just going to speed it up so that it doesn't take a long time for you guys to see this portion. And a lot of times when my designs come in black, like I was saying earlier, I try to change the color because it's easier to see when it's not black for some reason, okay? If I had left my in Brilliance Essential background to the yellow that, that's installed on the system um, as a default, I probably could see it on the black, but y'all know I like purple, so I changed my background to purple. So if your screen does not look like mine, it's because I did customize my screen. That's for the people who do have Embryo's Essential beyond level one, because you can only customize it beyond level one, okay? So this is what I have. And so in order to go back to my original screen where, where I have my design, all you do is press the simulator button and it's going to bring you back to your original page okay so then after that you want to save your design okay and you go to file at the top you go to file you come down to now listen to me and listen to me well i always save my files as save as stitch and working files now it does put your files in twice i'm gonna say that again it puts your files in twice on your computer when you save it if this was a design that i was never going to use again i would just save it as a working file or save it as a stitch file right the difference a working file means that you're going to come back to it and make some changes. You may want to use the working file to send to your client or, you know, whomever you're working with in order for them to approve your file, the file, okay? And they can't do nothing with it when you send it to them as a working file, okay? I hope I'm making myself clear because it's only going to work on your end. When they get it, the only thing they can do is see it, okay? If you save your file as a stitch file, that means that you have completed all of your errors. You made all the changes you needed. Um, X, Y, Z, everything has been approved. Save it as a stitch file. That way it will transfer to your USB, to your USB, in order for you to put it into your embroidery machine for it to read it okay so you're going to have one file that is a working file and one file that is your stitch file no matter what machine that you have pes dst 
yada 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 okay um the 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 software will save it for the file that you need for your system okay why is this phone y'all this this okay it said it got too hot all right um anyway so i guess TikTok is over with for whatever reason anyway um growing what i eat welcome in i appreciate you for being here king um if i miss anybody in the chat i apologize so let's get back to that so yes a stitch file will make let you transfer it over to your machine um the working file means that you are not complete with the with the with the design so that means that you're going to come back and do something eventually okay so i am going to save this as a stitch and working file save as stitch and working file okay i've already done that so i'm not going to save it again but i am going to go to the file on my computer and remember we named it kiera um butterfly so i just need to scroll down until i find the case it's in alphabetical order and i can't remember how to put the alphabet <laughs> i don't remember okay k is at the top right y'all don't laugh at me okay i'm because i'm it's hot in here okay so if y'all could see i highlighted one of them and it says kiera butterfly seven by six embroidery working file that's the file if you are not complete with your project you can click that one and continue to work that is the file you want to send to your client can i say that again that is the file you want to send to your client because if they have any type of software they can use it and you know take you know take your stuff or it might be their stuff but then they can use it for other purposes let's just say that i'm not gonna say whatever okay the one that we want today is going to be the one that says the pes file because my embroidery machine accepts pes files so that's the file that i want I'm going to take my USB port and I'm going to stick it in my computer so that I can save my file onto my USB port. So now I have to use my hand. Hold on, y'all. Um, so I go to embroidery files back again and I have to find oh wait i gotta find the name again hold on y'all i had to remove the mouse so give me one second okay so this is the one that i want and i need to right uh oh i need to right click it and i want to send this to my usb drive which is bos sexy f okay and once i send it there i always go back and check it to make sure that it's there and if you guys can see right here it has transferred okay so after i get this i am going to go down to the bottom press this little arrow thingy and i'm going to say eject by usb storage okay my my computer scans everything okay so i got that out and so it should be transferred onto my usb and so now what we are going to do is prepare our shirt to be embroidered okay so y'all give me one second i'm gonna put my my usb back so that i can do i have any questions before i turn before i stop sharing my screen i can go back 
to the file or anything that you may have if it's anybody in the chat facebook or youtube that have any questions about what i just did please make a comment at this time so i can i can address that okay i appreciate you guys for being here growing what i eat thank you for the super chat i appreciate you king let me get you right real quick um i'm sorry that i missed it i hope you're still in the building We twerking for cash, twerking for cash, twerking for cash, Purple Patch Crew. Thank you. Hey, Tracy. Welcome in, Tracy Robbins. I appreciate you for being here, Queen. Uh, Mary Brown, welcome in, Queen. Um, do anybody have any questions? No, we'll move on. Okay, I'm moving on. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And we will go to the embroider. I mean, um, we'll come back to the table so that I can show you guys what we're going to do with this. So this is the piece that I made. I sewed all of this together to save time on this live. Okay. So if y'all remember what I did, the bucket hat, and when I and when I did the um the clutch, I did it the exact same way. I just cut the pieces. And then sew them together. When I tell y'all, um, Chris Smith, like, she really saved my life that night because I had no clue what I was doing, y'all. I just be trying stuff, okay? And when she put in the chat to do a certain way, at first it didn't click. And I was like, girl, I'm a Taurus. I'm going to do it the way I want to do it and yada, 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 and yada, 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 okay? Because that's how I am, right? but honestly after it clicked it clicked and i got it and when i say i have fell in love with patchwork i have fell in love with this y'all um because now it is much easier <coughs> so just because you think you know everything does not mean that somebody cannot teach you something that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not that type of a person. What I was saying was I'm a Taurus. And sometimes I just want to do stuff my way. That's not necessarily saying that the other person's way is not right or wrong. Okay. I just have to get it. And it takes me a minute to get it. Taurus, they just want to, they just want to do it themselves the way that they want to do it. Right. And it may take me all around the world and back. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. All around the world and back before I figure it out. I don't know why my brain works like that. Hey, Chris. Welcome in, Queen. So, like I said, y'all, that was a lifesaver, right? So, today, I made, well, last night, I made this one for my daughter. And I'm going to use some heat and bun, the sewing heat and bun, okay? And I'm just going to adhere the fabric onto the sewing heat and bun. Let me turn the iron on and then get you guys situated. Um, yeah, Aunt Charlotte, I, I, it just like, I mean, anybody that knows me knows that, like, some people will say, oh, that's so simple. Not to me. Not, it's not simple to me because my brain goes left when it should be right. It goes up when it should be down. So some at some point, it may take an hour, two hours, two days, two years <laughs> for it to meet in the middle for me to figure it out, right? So um and when i say i just want to do stuff my way i'm not trying to be rude to nobody it's just i have to learn to process what people are trying to say or convey to me right and that's just it and that's all you know I, I don't know how to explain it and i don't mean to hurt if i did hurt anybody's feelings that is not my intention 
I just want y'all to know that I I just be having to figure that stuff out. Okay. It is just figure it. Marilyn, you like that too? Yes, it is hard, especially when you are a crafter or a creator or a designer or like your brain does not shut off. Like it just don't shut off. Your brain is always thinking of something else to do. I could have done X, Y, and Z better. I could have, your brain never shuts off. And it's it's hard for you to unwind and just think about anything else. When I'm on vacation or if I'm visiting my family, my son, my grandson, guess what I'm doing, y'all? I'm over there having a good time, supposedly. <laughs> In the back of my mind, I'm like, I could be home making and doing and crafting and all of this stuff. Okay, I could be doing all of that when I should be enjoying the time that I have with my family. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy being with them. I enjoy spending time with them. But my brain does not shut off from making stuff. Like, it does not. And I hope that I'm not alone when I say that, but um, that's just the way it is, y'all. I'm I, And I'm just being honest. It's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So enough of that. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. So all I'm going to do is iron this on to the back of the pattern. So let me, let me just... Um, We'll shut it down when I come. <laughs> okay, Aunt Charlotte, I got you. All the focus will be on you, Queen. Okay, so I have the heating bun right here, and I kind of have enough to fill up the whole thing, which it doesn't matter because I know that the butterfly is not going to take up the whole thing. I just wanted to make sure that I had some on there, right? You don't want to do this without something so this is my printout of my butterfly from uh in brilliant i'm just gonna use the paper and put it underneath just so no glue gets on my little pressing mat and then i'm just gonna take this one and put it on top so all you do is just kind of move your iron and it heats up at about 10 seconds right um, and I want to say about three, at least 300 degrees. Hey, Blue Lotus. Welcome in, Queen. Hey, Grace Guns. Welcome in, Queen. Crafts and Bling Creations. Welcome in. I appreciate you for being here. So I'm just going to continue to do this. Just so that I can get it all on here. And I'm going to be honest with you. You, if it doesn't get all the way, it's okay, but just make sure that it gets on your edges of your whatever you're working on because you don't want the edges to lift up, okay? You don't want none of it to lift up, but you really don't want the edges to lift up, okay? So I should be good if you heat it up enough. It should be adhered to the back of your fabric okay so the main key in this is let it cool off that's the key to heating bun so while that's cooling let's prep our shirt okay so the shirt that i'm using today is a gilding uh heavy cotton t-shirt in the size small in the color red so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take my t-shirt i'm going to fold my t-shirt in half from seam to seam or show the seam to show the seam right and lay it down on my table and this is the way that i do it everybody have their own method but this seemed to work pretty good for me, okay? So, you like that too, Blue Lotus? Girl, I'm trying to tell you. You making another t-shirt? Yes, Miss Cheryl, but it's for my daughter. 
I hope that you like this one. Okay. I'm uh, you, I can't wait for y'all to see it. Um, so I'm gonna fold it in half just like this, and I'm just gonna iron it just so I can get a crease, and at the same time, I am taking the moisture out of my shirt, so I'm basically getting a two for one. If you put it under the heat press, it's just like doing the same exact thing, okay? Um, so I just really want to get a crease in the front of my shirt, right? And the way that I do it, this is, you know, everybody do stuff different, like I keep saying. What I do is, once it's folded like this, and it's in half, I normally, this is the sleeve of the shirt, okay? The bottom of the sleeve, this is the top portion of the shirt. I take the top portion and I fold it down midway in the sleeve, just like this. I don't measure nothing or nothing. I look at it and I look and look for this point almost, and then I fold it down onto itself, just like this, and make sure that this lines up with this, because to me, that's how you know that it's even if they match okay and then i take my iron and make a crease again <laughs> that is going to be the starting point of my design okay wherever my my square my my my, my cross it, wherever it meets okay i hope that nobody gets confused by what i said i do have t squares like i have all of that stuff to do this but to me this is the most easiest way so if i take the crease if y'all can see the crease hopefully you can see the crease can y'all see the crease the crease is right here so i'm gonna leave my finger right here this is the crease right and if I take the top collar of my shirt, I mean, not the top, the bottom collar of my shirt and place my fingers about four fingers down, I almost hit the mark. I almost hit the mark of my crease, which most shirts are four fingers to three fingers to five fingers, depending on what you're working on down, okay? So I could move it up slightly, but I'm not. But this is what works for me. I wouldn't recommend doing this if you had a hundred shirts to make. <laughs> this is like a something you do for one shirt or so, right? Because when you do an order of, you know, more than two, three, four, whatever, you want them all to fall in the same space. So the best way to do it is to use whatever guide method you use but for single shirts you can do this okay so we got this done i'm gonna turn my hey robin welcome in queen i'm going to you making me another shirt <laughs> what's that miss cheryl let me see uh miss cheryl i'm making this one for my daughter but hold on queen hold on so I'm going to take this shirt and turn it inside out. I'm turning my shirt inside out, facing the front of my shirt towards me, okay? So now I have my shirt inside out, and this is the front part of the shirt, Well, which will be the front part of the shirt. I'm going to take my mesh adhesive stabilizer. This is mesh adhesive stabilizer. And I'm going to align it, which I don't need this much. So with my butterfly, I will measure it just so I can. So if y'all see that, I put the mesh on top of the butterfly and it gives me somewhat of a reference of how much I need and where I can cut it. It's so good to print out these uh, sheets because you can use them for so many things, okay? 
it, it just keeps the gift work out. That way you don't wait. Look, I would have wasted all of this. I can use this for another project. Okay, so this is what I have, right? And I'm just folding it in half so I can get a center point. That's all. And then I'm just going to lay it on the center part of my shirt. Right there. And then I'm going to use my paper again and heat it down so there is a matte side it feels like toilet paper or some type of uh, tissue paper and then the glossy side you can just see the gloss let me show y'all with the small one so this is the gloss if y'all can see that shine and this is the matte it's kind of like toilet paper on this side okay so i'm gonna just heat this down onto my shirt and it doesn't take long. You just kind of run your um, iron across it so that it can adhere to the shirt. What this does is stop my shirt from moving when it's embroidering. And t-shirts have a tendency to stretch. I come up with this. The reason I come up with this is because in sewing, we use interface seams to stop stuff from stretching and also to make the piece of the fabric more solid and i thought to myself wait a minute they have adhesive stabilizer so i started putting these inside of my shirt t-shirt so that my design does not move okay i'm gonna take my shirt and turn it back right side up and my shirt is ready to be hooped. It's ready to be hooped. And so we will go to the hooping station. Hey, the Crafty Puerto Rican. Welcome in, Queen. So y'all meet me at the hooping station. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Well, let me do the let me let me do our paper first before we leave. So, because I think sometimes when I get over there, y'all can't see it. So this is the printout of my design, right? And if you can see, they have crosshairs. These black lines are considered the crosshair of my design, okay? This is what I'm going to put on my shirt to make sure that my design is centered, okay? But the first thing I have to do is I have to take off my the backing of my patchwork so all you do i've let this cool you just peel the backing and you can see on the back of my fabric is shiny now that means that the heating bun is now on the back right and everything is one piece and it's all solid okay so i'm just gonna take this and fold it in half just so I can kind of get a center line. It may or may not work. I don't know. And then I'm going to open it. And with the center part of my shirt that we already ironed and have a center line for, if y'all, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's on here, right? I'm going to place this on the center. And yes, I left this um, hanging, okay? So this is what it's going to look like before I cut it, before I cut it down. Do y'all see that? Hey, Miss Patrice L., welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you for being here. Can y'all see this on the shirt? I think y'all can, but I'm just making sure. So once this is placed oh this one needs to be taken down y'all see what happened right here i didn't have any backing on this hold on and i cut it <laughs> okay let me let me fix this hold on i mean hold on this is really not a bad i know what i'm gonna do instead of i'm just going to cut 
I'm just going to cut this down some and make it. Wait, let me make sure I'm going to have enough before I do that with my measurement. Hold on. Let's see. It's going to be close, but I think it's going to work. We just have to make sure that we center it the right way onto the, um, and I kind of like, I like this. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. But let me show y'all what I was trying to do or what happened. This piece was folded. It wasn't folded right, so it didn't get a piece of the uh, heating bun on the back of it. And to me, it's kind of okay because it just makes it look like, I don't know. I just like, you know, y'all know I like different. Okay, so this is going to be my middle. All right, and I'm going to pin this down one time. I'm about to find a pin real quick. Okay. This is going to be pinned down. And I'm just going to pin it at the top just so it'll stay when, before I get to the um, embroidery station right and so now i'm going to take my my design and actually fix it to the middle of my shirt so it's kind of hard to do when you can't see your line at the bottom but this is the only way you can do it at the moment right because normally you would just be um embroidering on top of the shirt but this time we are embroidering on top of the fabric so you just have to take your time and make sure that you have your design inside your fabric and i'm just moving it down ever so slightly just to make sure the top of this and I think I'm good, y'all. I think I'm good. Okay. And I'm going to pin this down. I'm going to pin this one down on top so that when I get to the embroidery machine, I mean to the hooping station, this one does not move by the time I get over there. Okay. And so... This is what we will have once we finish, but it's going to be on top of that fabric. Y'all understand? So the applique is at the bottom and the butterfly is going to be on top. So now we will go to the hooping station. Meet me over there to the hooping station. Y'all don't judge my, my craft area over there, okay? Because, yeah. It's in a bit of a shambles and a mess and a whatever else, right? So, we're going to the hooping station, which is right here. And so, since I put my adhesive mesh on the back of my embroidery, I mean, on the back of my t-shirt, I'm going to use Tearaway Stabilizer for this t-shirt. The reason is because the adhesive mesh is going to stay on the shirt and it will double with my... Um, Tearaway stabilizer. Okay. So let me show you what we're doing right here. I am going to take my mighty hoop, put my frame in. I'm hoping y'all, I hope I put the camera where y'all can see it. Take this um, tearaway stabilizer and place it underneath these frames. Y'all remember when I first got this hooping station and I was like, this is its temporary home for the Mighty Hoop girl. Like, y'all, I have not been able to move this thing because it's humongous 
and I don't have nowhere for it to go. So it's been living here for the past year. And I guess this is just going to be permanent until I can find another solution. So now this is our shirt. And what I'm going to do is, uh, let me see if y'all can see this. I want to make sure. Oh, shoot. Oh, y'all over here. Okay. You can see. Okay. This, and I'm going to put my shirt in. Okay. And bring it underneath this thing in the jeans here. It's a small shirt, so it might be a tight fit. But we're going to work it out, okay? We're going to make it work. Make it work. All right. So it's on the hooping station. Let me fix this paper. I probably cut a little bit too much, but it's okay. All right. So now um what i'm going to do let me see if i can bring y'all closer so y'all can see let me see you still may or may not be able to see it but right here is a line that is the center of my t-shirt or it's supposed to be represent the center of my t-shirt from the neck collars okay so my job is to make sure that these neck collars and the seams of the shirt line up, okay? With the small t-shirts, it's easy. They easy. The small t-shirts are easy because the shoulder to shoulder seam is perfect for the mighty hoop. Let me say that again. Small t-shirts are easy because the shoulder to shoulder seams are the same size as the mighty hoop. That is something that I discovered while doing t-shirts so okay y'all got to take this you know do your thing the way you do your thing figure your stuff out the way you figure your stuff out and yeah we're gonna be all right we gonna be all right okay so y'all see my butterfly is inside of my hoop let me know if y'all can hear me Hey, Miss Ten, you welcome in, Queen. Do anybody have any questions? Or should I just go ahead on and continue? <clears throat> hey, Ruji, welcome in, Queen. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you to the Purple Patch crew members. I appreciate y'all for being here. So, y'all got that? Or do I need to, y'all okay? Y'all can see that? Okay, let me keep going then. So now what I'm going to do is, this is the top part, I can feel it. The top part of my frame. The frame is, this, well, you can't see it, but it's the one that I put in. So this is where my hoop will start. This is the end part where my hoop will start. I want my design to go up just a little bit because I want it to come down where my this this part of my design is. I don't know how to explain it, but I want it to start there. So I just move this up slightly, slightly, because it's going to be so close to the my the, the hoop till yeah. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, y'all. I'm sorry. I just know what I need, and and that's that's it. Okay. So now I'm gonna take the frame, and I'm just going to clamp it. It looks like my design shifted just a little bit, which is okay. Let me let me take this off. all right so my shirt is hooped it's tight and we're gonna go to the embroidery machine now so you just release this and i don't know if y'all could oh yeah i probably can't hear because it's way over there the, the, the voice is way over there but this is it okay and 
if you look at this little dot, there is a little, wait, wait where y'all at? Over here. There's a little dot, and this is my line, and there's a little dot up here. Y'all see that? And this is my center line, and then there's a line right here, and my dot is telling me that my design is even. Do y'all see this other little dot that I'm pointing to? And the line, you just kind of follow your eyes and you can see the line that matches the dot, okay? Y'all let me know in the chat if y'all see that. Purple hearts in the chat if y'all see that, okay? So with the Mighty Hoop, you don't want this part of your frame to be facing the back of your machine this part right here do y'all see this little lip it's a lip you always want this lip to be facing you when you get ready to embroider there's no lip up here okay this part is flat the reason being is because you don't want this lip to be knocking on your machine in the back when it's moving okay i'm gonna come to the chat just to see if y'all saw those those little holes and those lines line up. Hold on, let me check. Because I can't see y'all comments over there. Hey, Miss B and Fam and Queen Angel. Welcome in, Queen Angel. Did y'all see the lines? Okay, I think y'all doing the hearts because y'all saw the line. Okay, thank y'all. Okay, so I have already... Um, Threaded my needle, which we're going to do this in gold, you guys. My daughter didn't say what color, but I just think that with all of, I'm going to cut this out. With all of the colors, the gold will line up. I mean, will show up. I was supposed to fold my paper and I didn't because I was talking too much, but it's okay. Um, you just got to learn to improvise when it's time, okay? So I'm going to leave that there so I can make sure that I find my center line with my, with my crosshair. So let's get the USB and stick it into, okay, y'all looking over there. Y'all need to be over here, okay? All right, I'm sorry, y'all, because I'm not, today, I don't know why I can't get y'all straight. All right, so I'm going to stick my USB inside of my, my embroidery machine. Okay, why is it not going? I already ordered it. Let me turn this off and turn it back on. Everything is going crazy. Cray cray over here, right? Okay. Hello. Wake up. Okay, there you go. What your problem is? Okay, so it's on my number two. I'm going to find my design. And it's over here. Y'all see it? So I'm going to click it. My, design, my, my butterfly is right there. And it's already ready. What we need to make sure is that our our red line lines up with the crosshairs of this black line on this paper so i'm going to end edit and if y'all can y'all see that let me see can y'all see it um hold on let me see. i don't know if y'all can see it because this is red this is pink this is whatever anyway i'm gonna move this over so that i can center And 
uh i'm trying to figure out how can i show y'all this let me get this black piece of paper you can see i think with this black piece of paper you'll be able to see the red okay can y'all see that red um laser line right here so that's what i'm looking for to make sure that this equals up to that okay so that's where we are i'm going to take the pen out of the the paper and i'm gonna just tear this away because it's just paper i don't need it anymore okay now we have our fabric is, is being shown i'm going to remove the pin that's in the back of the fabric just so i don't forget to remove it okay y'all let me know if y'all understand me so far hey bash chick create thank you ruji all right we're about to start um so give me a second let me late night crafting with stacy hey queen um did i official j mia welcome in queen okay so this is where we are i'm just gonna cut the black thread because it's hanging and we don't want no mix up okay so our gold is on number four i'm going to press embroidery over here it says that it's going to take us 28 minutes to complete this design on 400 the 400 speed okay so i'm just going to go and select the color of my thread which is on number four and i'm going to press okay and then i'm going to lock my machine and let it start working i'm gonna just hold my fabric for a minute once they get enough stitches in it, I can let it go. And this is the purpose of using the paper because I know my design should fit this, this area right here. So I'm gonna let some of it get down here to the middle and then I should be able to let this go because my, my fabric should not be, be able to move. And with the, the heating bun on the back of it, it makes it harder for it to actually move, okay? So I'm gonna come to the chat in just a second and we'll just watch this work from this camera and let's pray to God that it does not overheat like the other one. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, make sure that your shirt is not bunched up underneath here, even though I think I did chicken. Okay, coming back to the chat. Um, do anybody have any questions? Is the angle of the um embroidery machine okay for you guys okay so i'm sorry i'm good i'm uh turning y'all all around so while that's working, I'm going to um, be putting some, um, so I'm working on two, some tool dresses for a client. And I'm going to just put the um, elastic into the tool that I've already sewn together. If I can find my, okay, right here. That's if y'all don't have any questions. Let me find the opening. Okay. 
what do you have your three set and oh why are you having trouble with your embroidery machine no chris you want me i should turn it up i just didn't um no i can turn it up baby this is how i i just stitch everything on low i honestly do So this is 500 and this is 700. All right. So we just shaded off about eight minutes, eight minutes. Okay. Let me find the opening of this dress, of this tool. Child. Do anybody in here make tools, shirts, and dresses? Okay, there go my opening. Uh, Tam, you say you do. Hey, Coach Mary, my welcome in, Queen. Um, Tim, you, um, do you have um, a video or something with doing the, the tutu skirts? I would love to see it. I would love to see it because I would love to learn. And I hope that embroidery thing is not too loud, but uh, I would love to learn. I would hope an easier method of doing it. Um, or baby, you can always uh, email me. Uh, I can't FaceTime right now because my phone's messed up, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get in touch. Uh, Miss Marissa say no. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh, Robin, you do? Okay, do you have any videos, Robin? I'm looking for videos so that I can go and watch. That I can go and watch and learn. This is my back and I'm just going to put it on my, my um, elastic. Shout out to Dim Design for showing us this backing, baby, because I had no, I didn't know what. I know, I, I, I mean, you know how you go to the, um, to the, to the sewing department or, you know, craft store or whatever, and you see a lot of things, and you just be like, I don't need that, I don't need that. That's how I was with this, because I was like, I'm going to just keep using my safety pin, honey. Again, that Taurus thing be kicking in, right? Dips was on that live doing some um scrunchy using this thing and I was like oh that looks simple enough so I went and bought me one baby and it makes a bit of a difference it makes a big difference because for one you have this longer stem to hold on to look at her yes honey yes dip yes boo boo I appreciate you for that tip so I noticed that right here, my casing is a little thick. Baby, not just right there. So I, okay, hold up. I think I got the wrong size elastic. I got some more, so that's a good thing. Yes, this is the one inch. I need a seven eight because that's what I sold for the seven eight. So let me get some more elastic. Hey, the best uni. Welcome in, queen. Yes, honey. That backing was a lifesaver. Um, oh, y'all, this weekend is the skydiving trip. <laughs> so y'all start praying for your girl right now. Okay. I go skydiving Saturday. First, pray that the weather is like beautiful to so where they don't cancel us. 
secondly, pray for traveling grace because I will be um, driving by car. Thirdly, pray that I don't have a damn heart attack once I get over there because like right now I'm so stoked and so ready to go <laughs> until I drive up to the place. And I know for a fact that my heart is going to go kaput, but I'm going to do it no matter what. I might have heart palpitations, like my heart may be going really, really fast. <laughs> but your girl is going to jump out of that airplane, baby. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to Jim Design and her sister for jumping out the airplane, living, making it back. And then they went, she went to the conference. Baby, live your life. Live your life. All right. Let me go find this doggone up. Uh, let me find this dog on what's in the DB here. Uh elastic. That's right. Hey, the educated natural. Welcome in, Queen. I'm so wait, Robin said on video. What's on video? Robin, come back. Wait, I will. I will have to make a video. Okay, Tim, you. Okay, okay. I appreciate it if you do, Queen. I can't wait to hear your experience. I did it once. Miss Marissa, I'm so excited. Like, I am so excited, right? But I'm scared at the same time. OMG, I cannot wait to see your jump. You're going to love it. I see people that jump out of a perfectly good airplane or crazy. <laughs> Ah, hey, Jones Cruz, welcome here, Queen. And okay, Chris, I wish you was my doctor so that you can pronounce me cray cray. I'm gonna like put it on my on my paperwork, on my resume, so that people will know before they even see me just by my name. She cray cray. <laughs> she cray cray. Sorry, everyone, I am here, but I need coffee. Girl, go get your coffee on. Okay, let me find my Vikings, baby. <laughs> let me find my Vikings. Do we need to go check in, bro? Let's go check and just make sure everything's everything on here. Oh, that's coming out so nice. That's coming out so nice. Okay. That'll be done before I can get this elastic through this doggone. Um... Oh, you need to see your nap. Oh, okay. I got you. Uh, before I can get the, the elastic in the doggone skirt. Okay, let's see. Thank God I have some more elastic. Cause, ooh, baby. You are trimming the butterfly after that. Yes, to a certain extent, Miss Marissa. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, let's see. Like, I can't wait. My uh, my baby boy, my baby son, and I. My sister and I have a cousin that's going. We have about, I don't know, I guess about 12 people going, but only like four or five decided to jump out of the plane. Are you making a tutu? I am making a tutu. You, um, okay, I need a close up of those earrings, ma'am. Oh, that's my, so y'all know I lost my brown elephant in one of them in atlanta for my sister's birthday because i guess we had we was doing too much okay we were just doing too much i lost one so i got these and dip you can get on patrice or Marilyn peg <laughs> And let them make you fun with their X tool and they glow forge and they whatever. Okay. 
be like my life be like i need some elephant earrings my life be like i need some of those earrings and then you know pressure them to do it you know what i'm saying that's all all the best uni right because she got a machine too she got that she got that laser stuff too that cut through the wood and all that kind of stuff you know what i mean y'all remember that comb that the best uni made me i'll never move it it's right here it's right here so they can do it <laughs> just tell them to do it <laughs> basically and then you can oh girl i can see you blinging your elephant earrings yes honey yes yes i was the one that pulled the strings they told me the first time and i didn't even fear the man it was a great experience i've never forget <laughs> okay um Look, you talking about some pressure? Pressure? No pressure, like African dream say. No pressure on your baby. <laughs> but I'm just saying, Bill. You know? Oh, y'all, I'm just talking, and I never measured the doc. I measured the other elastic, but I didn't measure this one. So let me let me take out the time to do that. <laughs> because baby girl is not this big okay i was gonna sit here and sift all this through the set. father god i ask you to bring my brain back to me hold in the name of jesus yes yes okay let me measure this and get what i need Get the amount you need, girl. Y'all don't pay me no attention, right? Oh, look. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's still on, but it's holding on to the thing. Hey, Mr. Ghetto, welcome here, King. So, y'all, listen to this. I made my measurement of 22. And then I picked up the doggone tape measure instead of holding it on the y'all just pray for me because i don't know what i'm doing at the moment when they say scatterbrain that's exactly what's going on here all right so i'm gonna just keep on Keep on, keeping on. Yes, I can't wait for Tam, you and Robin to make a video, honey, so I can see. We got a thread break? Okay, let's go check this. Let me put y'all big so y'all can see what I see. Hold on, let me see. Where the, where the, where the mouth is? Put this bigger. All right, let's go see what's going on. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. So I'm just gonna re-thread the machine. Oh my god, this is looking so fabulous. What number is this? One, two, three, four. Okay, put it in the number four. Y'all give me a minute because y'all in my way, but I'm going to try to work it out so I don't have to move y'all. Okay, while I'm over here, I'm just going to check my, my bobbin. Let me see if y'all can see. Hold on. Okay, let me check the bathroom too. Oh, so this one was it was still connected to the Let 
It wasn't the vibe, and it was it's the it was just the top three. Okay, now I just gotta put the thread back behind the whatever this thing is called. I'm not sure. And then thread it through the needle. I can't see the comments, y'all. I'm coming back to the chat in just a second. Oh, let me. Y'all, I may have to move y'all just so I can see. Hold on. Let me see if I could. Uh oh. Find a piece of paper. That may help me to see better. Oh, I think I got some fuzz on the edge of my yarn, my uh, thread. I don't know what it is about that white piece of paper behind the needle, honey, but baby, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, now I'm just going to cut the thread. I'm going to back my machine up like I always do, at least 10 to 20 stitches. Okay. Okay. And we have five minutes left. Let's make sure it stays before I move away from him. Okay. I think we did. All right, y'all. I'm coming back to the chat. Oh. Okay. So Tip, put together safety pin horizontal on the end of the elastic to stop it from going into the channel. Oh, yeah, I am. I am, Chris. I am. Thank you, Queen. I wish I could have pulled the string. <laughs> oh, so only one person can pull the string? Is that what y'all saying? Because I don't know, y'all. This is going to be my first time. That white paper allows you to see the hole in the eye. I mean, Chris, I know that, but I'm saying, like, who thought of that? Where did it come from? And who knew that it was going to work? Like, it is genius, okay? It's genius. Yes, uh, Miss Marissa, I think she did get a video of her jump. She ain't posted it yet, but she got a video. Okay. We still on or y'all can y'all hear me? Oh, I'm muted. Am I muted? Y'all let me know. Am I muted? I learned the paper trick when I was a kid. It's become necessary since my eyesight isn't great. I'm trying to tell you, Chris, yes. I could see the hole on my computer. Who said that, Miss Marissa? What? Baby, I can't see no hole, baby. I, I don't see it. I need the white paper. I, I just need the white paper. Thank you to the creator of the white paper behind the needle. Because, baby, I'm telling you, it has saved my life and my sanity so many times. So many times. Okay, let me. Y'all, we only had five minutes left, so this 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish this this skirt. I'm gonna try though. I know I'm not because I hear it stopping. It's about to stop. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Okay. Hey, Charlotte, what are you doing? Did you ever get in touch with Passionately Intrigued Arts to get your gift? You have to check your emails, boo Oh, so the ones that do do these skirts, do y'all? Okay, where, where is the end of this? Where is the beginning of this? Do y'all like doing tutu skirts? Or not? I find them fun and exciting, actually. Um, and it just depends. Like this one, or these two, will have lights in them. So that will be my first time doing the fairy lights inside of the tutu. And I'm probably not going to do a video, but I will show y'all the finish. Like, I probably just post it. Okay, we done. You going to Atlanta tomorrow? Okay, queen. Uh, have a safe trip. Tell uh, Miss Sophia we said hello. Okay, y'all, it's done. So let me put this to the side and go get our... And I'm going to put that big so y'all can see what I'm doing to take it off. Okay. We almost done, y'all. Like, literally, we almost done. So, I'm going to press OK. And so, I just take my hand and lift up on me and pull this out. Can y'all see? This is so pretty. I hope y'all can see it. I don't know if y'all, if I'm in the camera or not. And so I'm gonna just take my um my mighty hoop off. And I normally just take that little piece that I told you I had a little thing at the bottom and pull one edge and then pull it away. I don't know if that's if that's there for that, but I don't know. And then take the frame out the bottom. And I'm gonna turn off my embroidery machine because we done with that. And then I guess I could bring y'all over here. And again, mind y'all business over there uh, with all that. Okay. Just mind y'all business. Your girl is working. Working. Let me bring y'all down just a little bit. I don't need y'all in the top of my head. <laughs> I don't need y'all in the top of my head. Okay. So let me see if I can put. Make this one bigger too. Like add this to um okay. So this is what it looks like. And remember we have um tear away stabilizer in the back of it, so I'm just gonna flip the shirt inside out. Or turn it the wrong way or what have you let me get this out of our way so y'all don't be confused and then so all i have to do is just tear this away from the back of the shirt i try to tear it as close to the um the stitches because y'all know i'm reusing the rest of this paper that can be reused like names um it could be used for um left chest logo i 
all right now this on the inside of oh y'all probably can't see it that on the inside can be torn out if you want to i'm not gonna do that because i'm probably gonna put a piece of um tender touch right there only because you really don't do it for adults but my daughter has sensitive skin and i don't want to be the cause of her having you know any kind of rash or something so i am going to put the tender touch on the back of this when we're done so i'm just going to turn my shirt right back the right side out and did y'all get a chance to see the stitching hey j3 welcome in king erica my fly family welcome in queen um i'm i'm grateful that you guys had a successful uh meet up i will make it my business to be there next year queen it's a lot of things that didn't come up and i wasn't able to do it this time so I'm just getting my curved scissors because I forgot them over here. Let's see. Can let me see if I can bring y'all closer to this table. I don't know. It's not working. It's not working. Let me know in the chat if y'all can see pretty good. Because, you know, somebody may need to see this. And I want to make sure that y'all that y'all can see it. Is this angle okay? I don't know how to zoom in. Let's see if that zooms in. Nope, it zooms in on my phone. But it doesn't. Wait, let me see. What is this? This is a plus sign. You can see looks good to me okay cool so what you do is you try to cut away from your stitching okay so i'm just gonna start a cut and normally what i do is whatever bends over i cut it that means that it's not tied down to nothing okay I hate, oh no, I'm going to get a little bit of that white. That's going to be nice. You just don't want to cut your stitches because then you're going to be in trouble. So that's, that's going to the trash. And try not to cut your shirt. <laughs> Because that would be, you know, you would, you would be mad, okay? And I'm sorry if my hand in y'all way, but all I'm doing is trying to give myself um, a guide to, like, be able to see how close and how far I can get to the cut. So with the, and let me say this, with the um, curved scissors, they don't get, they don't, they don't go like directly into the fabric because they curve at the, at the tip. Can y'all see that? It's flat on my hand, but it's curved at the tip and it does not allow you to dig into the garment. And like, I love these. If you applicating or doing anything invest in some of these baby invest in some of these i also have the the duck bill scissors but let me show y'all the difference why i mean they okay but i don't really i don't really fool with them like that but i'm gonna show y'all the difference hold on let me find them so these are these are applique shears right this is what they call the applique duck bill i guess i don't know 
but these are the applique shears and they are flat so when you cutting you have to make sure that you don't cut into your fabric or whatever you're working on the difference is these angle up and by that angle right there it does not allow well i'm not saying you can't damage your garment but nine times out of ten you won't okay hey sleazy welcome in oh we got a super chat let's see thank you growing what i eat i appreciate you king let me twerk for you we twerking for cash twerking for cash twerking for cash purple patch crew thank you thank you so so much for the super chat no you need duck bill uh, scissors dips or you need the curved one the duck bill to me don't work as good as the curve but they have a lot of people in the chat that do embroidery y'all let's weigh in do y'all prefer the curved scissors or the duck bill or the duck bill scissors y'all let me know let us know for the people that um you know getting off into embroidery and need supplies Oh, both of them. <laughs> Who going to Atlanta? Um, somebody did. Oh, Aunt Charlotte. Aunt Charlotte, yes. Have a safe trip, Queen. Okay, so let's just continue to cut. So the trick is when you get close to the stitches. To just try to get as much of the fabric off as possible and a lot of this is going to be thick because remember i sewed the pieces together which made a seam and then i also added the heating bun which made it even thicker so you got to keep that in mind Miss Marissa like both of them. She do a lot of embroidery as well. So, so let's just take a look. Laura, please don't let me mess this up. Okay. So I'm going to take the Dougville scissors and let's just see what, what's going to happen. See, to me, I can't. Maybe I'm not using them in the correct way because... They make me nervous. Okay, well, let's see. So when y'all hear that thing clicking, that's like a scene that I'm on. So it's kind of... It's really hard, okay? Thank God it's not the shirt. <laughs> it's just the seam. See, to me, I'm not getting close enough with these. And this is a guard, this little, this duck, this part of it. So it's supposed to be able to not let you cut into your seams as well. But I don't know, child. Be, I don't know. Hey, Shandy. Welcome in, Queen do what makes you comfortable yeah i just need to um yeah i gotta do what i feel because i can use these like i can see with these to me this little thing is hiding a lot of the stuff behind you so i'm gonna just do this i, I think i work a little faster with these And so when I get to parts like this, I just try to use the edge of my scissors 
and lift it up just so I can get because you want to cut away you want to cut away from your design okay so like take your scissors and lift it because the lift it is not attached to anything so I just want to cut all of that off I'm gonna lose um the Mario, but I got Louie, I got his head down there. I tried to find fabrics that I know my knew my daughter would like. So hopefully. Oh, I'm losing the green flower. I didn't want to lose that, but y'all know what that represents, right? But we lost it, so we'll have to find another something to put that on. <clears throat> And it's best to move your shirt around or whatever you're working on so that you can see, honey, because once it's cut, it's cut. Uh, it's no fixing it. Did I speak to Broke Farmer? Welcome in, King. I'm not sure if I did or if I didn't, but I see somebody talking to you, so I appreciate you being here. Shandy, did I speak to you, Queen? Welcome in. I don't know, y'all. I'm just, I'm trying to concentrate, but I appreciate y'all for being here. And so, if y'all can see, I got real close to this to the stitching so now what i do what i normally do is take my shirt and fold it back if i fold it back y'all see oh wait y'all see how you can see a piece of material that means that it's not attached to anything and then i can cut it you may you won't be able to do this to the whole shirt but if you can fold your shirt or whatever you're working on back and all of this starts to come up just cut it off because that means it's not attached to anything it helps see most people when they do an applique a lot of times they cut it out on cricket or you know or whatever and they iron it down so it is what it is once it's ironed down with the heating bun. This takes a little while, but to me, it looks really good. If you look at that. Can y'all see it? It's as close to the stitching as I can get without cutting my stitches. So hopefully you guys can see that in the camera. And the difference is this one is cut close and I'm still working on this. So if you can remember that this part is still needs to be worked on, I'm going to work on it now so you can see the difference. And I'm just turning this shirt my way so I can see what's going on. What's going on? If I have anybody in here from the Facebook side, welcome in. It doesn't tell me if y'all, I mean, I don't know, because y'all probably not seeing nothing, but hey. The key thing is to make sure that your shirt or your sweater or your whatever you're working on is out of the way of the shears because I'm telling you, ask me how I know that you will get a hole so big you cannot repair. <laughs> 
it will cut a hole so big you won't be able to you just you got to start over sorry i'm confused is this the applique design no chris it's not it's not an applique design i just took the butterfly and made it into an applique no it is not a um a applique design a applique design well you know that it would have let me put down a position stitch and this did neither um i just my daughter wanted a butterfly and she wanted the patchwork behind it and so i just found the butterfly on creative fabrica and so i'm actually making it like um an applique so this is not the traditional applique design and i was trying to in in brilliance make it an applique but i guess the way that they made this butterfly in creative fabrica i couldn't change it so i didn't play i didn't worry about it I just said I was going to work around it, honey, and that's what I'm doing. So, look at that, y'all. This is the other side. Oh, wait, let me see. Y'all see how close I got those stitches? Thank you, Miss Deborah. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Robin. Appreciate that. So, now I'm just going to keep cleaning this up as much as I can and we'll be done you can wash this it is wash washable safe um so what i would do is if this was going to a client i would just let them know once you wash it it's probably going to fray on the end don't be secretive about that just let them know you did the best you could by getting you know as much fabric off as you could and they they probably gonna see some rough edges be honest with people and then you know they they'll be okay with you but don't not tell them and then they call you and say my shirt is is ruffling up or you know freezing up or what have you you'd be like well i don't know why it's doing that it ain't never did that before you lie stop lying this is going to fray or something because the it's outside of the stitches. What you can do is tell uh, you know suggest to them wear your shirt as many times as you can without having to wash it. I mean, eventually you're going to have to wash it. So, thank you, Miss Patty. I appreciate you for listening, Queen. Thank you for being here. If you ever want to do it again, contact me and I'll make an applique for you. Okay, Chris. Cool beans, baby. You must have Hatch program. You have Hatch, Chris. Baby, that's the one I should have got, but I had already invested in in, uh, in brilliance, and so I was like, I'm not going to start all over, but I should have got Hatch. If I ever get the money, I'm going to get the Hatch program, and I just have both. So I guess what I would have to put to the side every day. Five times 365. Yep, just about. At least four dollars a day. Let me see. Let, let's do the math, honey. Let me do the math. Let me see. Four times 365. Yep, that's about right. Because it's almost fifteen hundred dollars for the uh so I would have to put back $4 a day to get that program. 
because I would want all of it. I don't want just a piece of it. And that's probably why I went with Embrilliance as well, because I was able to get the program as I needed or wanted, right? So you didn't have to pay the whole amount up front. You could just keep adding the packages, keep adding the packages until you got what you needed. And so that's how I did that. I didn't pay for Embrilliance all at once. I nickeled and dimed it, okay? Like one month i would get this and the next month i would get that or i would skip a month and get something else and i just kept adding to it that's why i say if your embryos didn't look like my embryos it's because i have the paid version and i customized my page you use so art but a million years ago i learned to digitize with will Khan. who makes hatch yeah Will come, yes. I, I, that's what I want. That's what I want. Now, I was looking into so art, and I couldn't understand if I needed so art and so what pro in order to make it work. So art is one, I know it's one single program, but does it do everything you needed to do in that one? program or do you need extension because i did look up so what art i mean what is it called so art yeah i looked it up and i was going to get it but i was scared that i was gonna have to buy something else it stands alone okay i might have to revisit it because I have done research on it. I will, let me say this. I didn't do extensive research, but when I found out about it, I did look into it. Can y'all see? Okay, look, y'all see they have, it's some, you know, stuff right here. And I'm just gonna cut this out as best as I can without cutting my stitches. And once I get enough of it out, I just go back in and clean it up. So when people ask, do you do, you know, appliques and whatnot? And you do, just go and tell them yes. But they need to know that it's more work involved in an applique than just laying stitches on a shirt, a hoodie, or whatever. Somebody has to clean the design, okay? So they may not know the whole process, but you just let them know. It's going to cost you a little bit more to get an applique done. Because what burns my heart the most is when people say, that's too high, baby. It, how, many, how many minutes am I in so far? I've been cleaning this for what, 30, 35 minutes? At least 30 minutes, if not longer so my time just don't make you know like it don't matter but then those are not your people either if they can't understand the work that you're putting in to make what you're making for them they're not your people so remember that Applique almost doubles your embroidery time. Absolutely. So you're cutting the extra material because there's no satin stitch going around the design. Correct? Yes, then I could have left this in a square if I wanted to and then just made an embroidery patch all the way around it. But my daughter really wanted the butterfly to stand out. So yes, I am cutting. Oh, is it upside down? I am cutting away so that you can actually see the butterfly. So it makes a difference when you cut around it. It makes the design stand out. 
so if this was actually an applique design um it probably wouldn't be as intricate as it is to do because what goes on with that is an applique would have put down a position stitch which it would have stitched this whole design one time on top of where my fabric was supposed to be right so let me see if i can explain it it would have been a position stitch on top of the t-shirt then i would have placed my fabric on top of the stitch that would have been on my t-shirt and then the machine would have stitched again on top of the fabric so it would have been the t-shirt the fabric and then stitch again and then you take it off of the machine and do all of your cutting what i'm doing now put it back onto the machine and then it will stitch again but only on the part that it needed it i hope i'm making sense so my second part i would have cut just like this away from the stitching right and then put it back on the machine for it to finish top stitching everything so with applique you have position stitches and that's that i don't know if i'm explaining that good enough um but it does not have all the features and capabilities that hatch does why there is such a difference in the price yeah yes 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 hey miss sonia siegler welcome in queen i appreciate you for being here dips oh you still learning the terminology yes queen i don't know them all now hey hey hey, hey. which six needle machine did you order wait what wait i missed something Dimps, you getting a new machine? Oh, wait. So, wait, did I miss it in the comments? Or you posted that somewhere? Girl, do not make me get up and start shouting hallelujah. I mean, I'm going to do that anyway if you did. Miss Marissa just spilled. Did she just spill your beans, baby? Y'all, if y'all can't tell, I be excited for people when they expand in their business. I be, I, I, it's just like, that's the best feeling in the world. Like, it is. Marissa, no, 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 I haven't ordered one. Oh, but still, okay, she just spoke it into existence, boo-boo. Now, she just spoke it into existence. Tell her again, Miss Marissa. Everybody in the chat tell them she just got, she just, she about to order her multi-needle machine. I'm praying for you to get 10 or more because I'm telling you, y'all, this part is hard, but let, I'm telling you, you're going to want 10 or better needles. I'm bored with the six, but I love it, okay, because that's what I got and that's what I'm going to use. But baby, if I had that big boy, like big boy print, you know what I'm saying? Like big boy stuff. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't be able to tell me nothing. Yes, I could because I learned a lot from y'all. But I mean, in the beginning, if I was unboxing it, you couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> And then I would have to sit down and listen, okay? Just give me a week, and I'll be ready to listen. Um, wait. Okay, Chris says, step one, placement stitch. Step two, oh, tack down stitch. Okay, you're right, Queen. Tack down your stitch. That's what it is. I'm expanding my business. I'm like oh my god bash chick that's awesome you got the equipment today girl we need them videos let me tell you queen i was looking into rug tufting is that how you said tufting and i just kept saying to myself 
Ah, uh, mm-mm. Now, only because I just didn't feel like I had room. I'm already like stuff with with equipment and stuff. But that is going to be awesome. And that is going to bring in a lot of dividends for you and your family and your business. Um, my prayer for you, Bass Chick, is that you learn what you need to learn and in a timely fashion. Because I know stuff like that could take a little while, but baby, it's awesome that you, girl, that's like a, I don't know, it's a blessing. It's just a blessing that people are picking up on crafts that they have never, ever, you probably never imagined that before in your life. I know I didn't. I never imagined to sew until that lady, y'all know the story, came into my shop and basically almost challenged me with the jewelry that I was making and told me, oh, you glue your my glue yours. I saw mine and I it I mean like immediately I was like, oh baby, but what you're not gonna do <laughs> is show me up up in here. So <laughs> I prayed about it, baby, and God was like, you're going to learn how to sew, baby. You're going to learn how to sew. I'm in a two-bedroom apartment. I'm going to... I know that's right, Bash Chick. Yes, honey. Make it work with what you got. Make it work with what you got. And I probably have the room queen, but I'm saying I don't. But that's just excuses for me, right? But I do do what you got to do. Dim's design is going to look great in her new craft shed. Yes, honey. Yes. Oh, you did, Dim's. I missed it because you know I'll be working and trying to listen at the same time, Queen. But yes, honey, I'm telling you, if you can afford the 10 or the 12 or the 15 needle embroidery machine, go there. 20 whatever your money can afford go there okay i'm not saying that the six is a bad idea but i know from experience you're gonna want the bigger one he's like it's not gonna even take you long because it's not gonna take you long to learn it it's not gonna take you long to learn how to use it well i guess it depends on which brand but it still won't take you long once you once you figure that out, y'all let me know. I think that phone is about to die. Let me um look at the charger real quick. Because I'm almost done. What's up, Java? Welcome in, King. Oh. And I don't know, y'all, if the battery. What baby? Um you like it? Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. My daughter's bring the charger. Okay, let me know if y'all hear echo. Okay. I forgot that tomorrow is the first day of summer over here making treat boxes for the kids. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Baby, I don't know. They said first day of summer, but honey, <laughs> it is hot. It's so hot out here, y'all. It like you can literally bake your whole meal outside. Like it's that is just that hot. You can put everything outside during the day in the morning, and I guarantee you, it will be cooked by five o'clock. <laughs> You ain't got to go outside and turn it over. It's going to cook through the meat. Okay. Y'all, I'm almost done. I'm just trying to get in this uh, area right here if I can. Yeah, I'm not going, I'm not doing so good with y'all embroidery machine. Mine broke. Machine is so old. It's a baby lock allure. 
it's a sewing machine and embroidery machine in one he is so old it got one needle robin but you can make so much money with that embroidery machine did you use it for sewing and embroidery or did you just uh embroider with it bass chick a multi-needle machine is on my wish list my single needle puts in the work but i've already outgrown it i want to be able to embroider more stuff yeah you eat you if you start to like embroidery you definitely will outgrow the small machine really really fast but 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 that is not saying that that small machine if you have a business cannot make you money you just have to do things on that machine that doesn't cost you a lot of time what am i saying don't take anybody's design that have 16 different colors because you know you got to change them out be like my minimum and i mean my maximum color change is two anything after that i gotta charge you more because it takes time to change the thread honey it ain't no blue 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 and the thread is changed so two colors is my maximum anything after that i have to charge you more i bet you they'll stop that foolishness and i understand you want to make the same things as the big machines are making but you have to cut your stuff off i have the small machine and i don't want to do more than two color changes not if i'm you know if it's if it's for money because that takes too much time okay y'all i'm coming up on the last side let me know in the chat if y'all agree or y'all disagree a one color design is better but i would i would at least give them two My single needle pay for itself in less than six months. Yes. Yes, my aunt and uncle own an upholstery shop. They do cars, and sometimes I do the hardest, the headrest in the cars. Yes, Robin. So that's what I'm saying. You can make the money and save to get the bigger machine. I'm telling you, the faster you can put your stuff out, you know, it, it it will pay for itself. It will definitely pay for itself. The only way it doesn't pay for itself is if you have people who, you know, just always, oh, you too high, cost too much, you know, this, that, and the third. You got to find a way to market yourself to people who who understands the process the time that it takes how much thread costs how much like they just have to know all of these things right and it kills me to be the ones that want to be one of the let me see how can i see it um you know the particular ones oh i want it like this and i want it like that but then when you you're like okay yeah i can do it but this is what it's gonna cost oh i'm gonna get back with you <laughs> okay <laughs> okay talk to you later because you already know they're not coming back and then they're gonna go and they're gonna find somebody to do it cheaper and it's going to look like they got it done cheaper so they give it you give what you pay for 
And my motto is quality over quantity. If I do 50 shirts, they all better look the same exact way. They better look the same exact way or I'm not sending it out. Or I'm going to go and buy whatever it is I need to make sure that they all look exactly the same. Let me make myself clear. I can do 50 shirts. And by the time they get those 50 shirts, everybody looks the same. The shirts look exactly alike. If you don't believe me, um, it wasn't it wasn't shirts, but if you go back and watch that video that I did um, of HTV on the pillowcases and see how I took my time to measure each pillowcase even though they all came from the same company. That's the type of work I put out. Just what I'm doing right now, I would take my time with whatever it is that I'm doing. Because I don't want my stuff to look no any kind of way. And I'm surely not sending it out looking any kind of way. I may not be the best at what I do, y'all, but I take pride in the work that I do. When my name is attached to it, I take pride in what I do. I agree. Keep in mind, color changes are necessary on most of me. Yes, as well. You're right, Latricia. You are absolutely, you, you're, you're absolutely right. Ugh. You are absolutely correct. Ain't Charlotte. I have to hop off. Okay, Nanny, have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you for coming in, Queen. Don't forget to uh, email, check your emails from Passionately Intrigued Arts. It's going to say Tracy Sweet Touch Production. But you're leaving tomorrow, so I guess it'll have to be when you come back. Y'all, I'm concentrating because I'm like in a little bitty spot right here. A little bitty spot. Okay. And trust and believe if I do something wrong on your order, I'm going to fix it. Like, I don't have a problem with that because i rather fix it than for you to go and take it to social media and whoever else and ever and be like, she messed up my, you know, whatever. This been the third. And yeah, don't make me look bad because I would never do that to nobody. If we can't fix the issue behind the scenes, I'm just be like, okay, I'm done with that. Like, I just never do it again. Like, you won't get me twice. But I'm not going to downplay your business to nobody else. I'll just keep it to myself and just know that you will never get my business again. And I'm, you know, that's, I'm over with that. Because a lot of times with people, and I'm just blabbling y'all because I'm bored. Like I'm just talking to myself. I'm just, just how I do when I'm doing this type of work. I just kind of talk to myself, right? But because um, a lot of times what you do is you, you think that you blasting that person out on social media. And guess what? You just grew their business. <laughs> you just grew their business, honestly, because people are nosy. And so they're going to go to that person's page and be like, why is so-and-so so mad about, you know, this shirt or whatever the case may be. And they're going to like it. And they're going to start following them so that they can see what's what. Okay. 
So like I say, if you have a problem with anything that somebody does for you, go to the owner first and see if you can resolve it before you take it to social media. Because one day you may open a business. You think somebody going to forget about that? No, they're not going to forget about that. They're going to be like, oh, no, so-and-so, you know, is, they got they just nasty when it comes to business. So you hurt yourself in the long run, okay? You hurt yourself in the long run, boo-boo. You think you're doing something to somebody else. But in the long run, you're hurting yourself. And I don't know why God is making me say all of this. Who is listening in the background? You're not saying anything, but you're here. I appreciate you for being here because this message is for you, whoever you are, baboo. Because this didn't come from me. I'm telling y'all, this message came from God. <laughs> I remember when I first opened my, my salon, my hair business um, in 2016, I would get on Facebook and I would say, can y'all please share my, my Facebook page for my hair group, right? I think y'all heard this story before and it was almost like pulling teeth Dude, can y'all go like my facebook page and share it so that other people could like it and share it or whatever right and it was like pulling teeth and still to this day after 2016 i still have not hit a thousand followers on my facebook page for my hair business now granted i don't really post on there too much anymore but when i was i was damn near begging people to do it and they wouldn't then let's just say six or seven months later they opened up a business and they asking and begging people to share their stuff and like their page because now they see the importance of sharing people's stuff, liking their posts, and letting others know about the business or what have you, right? And they like, can you go and like my Facebook page for my business? And I say, no. Because when I was begging you to like mine and share mine and do whatever to mine, you didn't do it. People don't forget how you treat them, okay? <laughs> and I'm just babbling. But this message is for somebody that's listening, honey. They listening. And was I wrong for that? Maybe. But was my feelings hurt? Yes, because people don't ask me to share their stuff. If I see it, I share it. Not all the time I'm on social media but when i do get on social media and i see y'all post i share it to the best of my ability without you having to ask because i know the importance of the likes the little hearts that be in the you know in the bottom of the screen um and the importance of sharing it so that your your stuff can grow. Y'all see, I'm done with this. I don't, okay, I got to get this out the way. Hold on. So did y'all see what I did by cutting back all of the excess material? Hold on, I'm going to show y'all the shirt in just a second. Let me, let me get it clean. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut the shirt because my it's too long for my daughter so i cut it i mean i got as close as i do y'all see that girl i don't ask no more people do what they're going to do you right passionately intrigued or what i'm saying is when i first started my business i didn't really know I didn't really know how social media worked because I really was not a Facebook person. And, you know, I wasn't into all of that. I was just living my life, doing my thing. And so my kids turned me on to Facebook and needing to post because people need to see what you're doing and blah, blah, this, that, and third and whatever. So 
I basically kind of got sucked into social media, right? Because back in 2015, 2014, it just it started and it was real heavy, and that's the way you would, you know, people found out about you, right? And so I would just ask people, please share my stuff, you know, um, like it, subscribe, do whatever the case may be, whatever. And they didn't. And then once they started their business, they sent me all these messages. Can you like my post? Can you like, no. I don't do that no more because I think I found out that that wasn't helping me by not sharing their stuff. I just was salty at the moment, right? Because it was like, I asked you and you didn't do it. Now you want me to do it for you. So yeah, it's just, you know, Robin, I love the way you think and I love your attitude. Thank you, Queen. Um, I, I had to learn, I really did. I had to learn to be a better person. I rarely have people that share my stuff on Facebook, but I share everybody's stuff, even people that do what I do. And those are people I know in real life. Bass chick, guess what? Um, Don't ever think that um, just because the person, I, I share a lot of stuff, like people that do hair, because I know I'm not the best. And I'm okay with that. So wherever you do hair at, if I if you could be right next door to me doing hair, if you got a post, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna reshare it or whatever because it's somebody for everybody. But what you're not gonna do is you're not gonna be able to stop the money that I make. It may not be a lot of money, but you're still not gonna be able to stop it because why? I am different from you, you are different from me, and God is gonna send me who I need. Period. No matter if you share my stuff or not, he is going to send whoever I need. He's going to send them to me because I believe that. Okay? So you don't have to. And I'm not mad about it. I'm not nothing. But don't act like you didn't, you didn't, you didn't treat people, you know what I mean, with disrespect. Like that's disrespectful. If somebody asks you to do something, just say no. But don't be like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then you don't. Like, I don't like stuff like that. But anyway, anywho, <laughs> enough about that. But I'm telling you, somebody in the background listening, and they need that. The heat and bun light will help it not to pray. Oh, okay, Chris. They don't share, but they do pay attention. I still get people asking. Yes. Yes, Bass. Did you iron down the butterfly? Nope, not yet. I am. Hey, Heather. Welcome in, Queen. Hey, if y'all are not connected to Heather, uh, chronic conditions, y'all. If she is not, I don't know, but the last time I checked, she was about 20 something people away from 1K followers on YouTube. If y'all are not connected to Heather, chronic conditions, please go and subscribe to her channel please and thank you and if i have any moderators that still in the chat if y'all could drop a link that would be awesome i appreciate you okay so what i'm gonna do now chris before i iron my shirt down i'm gonna cut the shirt so let me get my tape measure and i, I measured my daughter and i'm going to cut her shirt from the top to the bottom um I love you too, Queen. I see you over there on Instagram. Um, from the top to the bottom, 15 and a half. Okay. So I'm gonna just put like a little mark so I know where the 15 and a half mark is. Well, oh yeah, it, it went. Okay. Heather, did you bake the 1K? Because if you did, I missed the queen. Ding, ding, God sends you, sends us the people we need. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So, I'm going to cut her shirt. And 
and yes it's probably going to roll up you know t-shirt material does that but she's going to be okay with that and i'm just making it into a semicircle Y'all, I missed the little mark, so I'm just going back and trimming this piece off. That's all. Got my glasses on. It still can't see. Ta-da! Ah! It is so cute. It is so cute. So, so cute. Y'all want my daughter to try it on for y'all? Why she get mad? She gonna get mad at me. But y'all want her to come try it on for y'all? This is, hey, whole new perspective. Welcome in, queen. Hey, hey, Cynthia. Welcome in, queen. I appreciate you for being here. So let me get the iron so I can iron this down. Let me turn my iron on. Y'all like or not? Y'all let me know if y'all like it or not. Oh, let me see. I just I just have to get all this lint off of it. I mean the extra uh fabric. But yeah, like I say, y'all, it don't cost you nothing to help somebody else out with a like, a share, a comment, or whatever. But guess what? They still get paid if you thumbs it down, too. So. <laughs> oh, look. I don't know. I got to figure out my TikTok thing. My phone um overheated because I could go live on TikTok, but for whatever reason, every time I go, something happens. So I got to figure out what's the deal and i'm just gonna use that same piece of white paper and iron this down Sierra. thank you hey cynthia i appreciate you queen crafty leo is in the chat hey queen well wait oh yeah there you go you was in the bushes keep working boo make that money honey truly unique with making your own scrap fabric thank you chris i'm telling you girl i love this so much i love this so much now you know why because now i understand what i'm doing i didn't understand it you know when i made that what did i make first um the bunny maybe yeah the bunny if i make another bunny with scrap material it will be better y'all let me see if my daughter's taking a nap she's probably hiding from me y'all guess what she gonna try it on for us y'all stay tuned hold on hold on wait a minute we are about to try it on hold on wait a minute we about to try y'all ready to see her try it on let me know let me know hey miss d harley wood welcome in queen i appreciate you for being here y'all ready for her to try it on yay or nay oh and while we waiting for her to come in y'all let me just thank Miss Deborah Garrett real quick because y'all look at this. Somebody come look at this. She sent me all of this fabric for the kids. Okay, all of these fat quarters. Like some of this stuff I have never seen in my like I've never seen. Look at that. These are so nice. Miss Deborah Garrett, we truly, truly appreciate you from the unbiased sewing camp for kids look at that y'all we gonna have i'm gonna have i mean i mean <laughs> did y'all hear what i said <laughs> i was saying i'm gonna have a ball with this fabric but i'm gonna let the kids play a little bit okay 
I'm gonna let him play a little bit since it was for them. I mean, for me, I mean, for them. <laughs> yes. Oh, and I love this. Like, I just love loud colors. This is so queen. You out did yourself, baby. And that's what I'm saying. People don't have to be nice to you. It people take time to go do stuff nice for you. They don't have to. Miss Martika sent refreshments for the kids. Um, and I appreciate you for that, Queen. Also, Ashley Sagira. Oh, I didn't even see this one. See, I like camouflage stuff. This is really nice. So I'm gonna put this one to the side because. The kids can't, they don't know how to work with this one. Let me see. Um, oh, the dinosaurs. Oh my God, this is so nice. Y'all, I didn't get a chance to look at all of them. Oh, look. These are so nice. What kind of patterns am I going to make with this? <laughs> Y'all better get ready, honey. Because I am going to um, piece some material together. Probably every time I sew from now on. I don't know. Because I love it just that much. I really do, y'all. You can make them draws for our best friend. Okay. All right, queen. Y'all, y'all have no idea. Like, strangers giving to the kids. Right now, it's only one kid in the sewing class, which is my grandson, but I'm still grateful for him because he wants to learn. And guess what? His Nana is going to teach him how to sew. The videos are coming out. Y'all going to be so proud of him because he is really, he's really doing it. Okay? He's really doing it. And we have one more week. So tomorrow... Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. He has a class tomorrow. And then next week is the last week of the class. And he's going to sew his own pillowcase. So my daughter is about to show, um, try the shirt on for us. Let me see if I can turn this camera. Hold on, y'all. We're going to make it work over here. So applique is when you embroider over fabric. I know nothing about embroidery. Yes, uh, uh, Educated Natural, yes. But I was, oh, thank you, Dems. Yes, those fab fabrics are nice. Um, I was just saying, um, Educated Natural, that the, the thing that I did today was not an actual embroidery of applique file. I just turned it into, oh, M-Liggity G. Y'all, y'all ready to see this shirt? Y'all got to show me that y'all ready to see this shirt. She didn't put the shirt on. Oh, Kiera, don't come in this space. I think they can see you. Oh, this right here froze. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Y'all know what to do if y'all ready to see her with this shirt on, Bubba. Okay. I'm going to turn this bit. You can go by the door. Not yet. I'm, I'm going to put it on the camera. I don't think. Yeah, you can come closer. Step back one second. Okay. Y'all ready? Okay. We ready. We ready. All right. Let me turn. Let me make her big, Bubu. Ah-ha. Look at it. Look at it, y'all. It's so cute. Y'all like it or no? Huh? I said okay, too much. I like it. No, oh. I like it. Let me know if y'all like it. Look my daughter posing for y'all and stuff and stuff. 
Okay. She ain't gonna do that too many times, but uh, <laughs> that's why she over there like y'all better take a picture now. <laughs> Somebody screenshot that. Y'all know what to do. Oh, my phone messed up, so y'all have to send it through Instagram Messenger. I keep telling y'all my phone messed up, so I can't get uh, text messages or calls on my cell phone. She makes the shirt looks, look more cute. Oh, Thank you. She said thank you. I know y'all probably can hear her. Okay, y'all, so we done for the day. Let me come back over here. And y'all tell Kiara, thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you. Yeah. All right. Let me see. She's shimmering. <laughs> Kiara, they say you were shimmering. <laughs> they say you were shimmering. Shimmering. You know, like how you do you go back and forth shimmering? like shimmying shimmying oh. shimmying 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 i'm sorry i'm talking about shimmering <laughs> i'm thinking of fabric okay shimmer <laughs> oh my granddaughter says she sees your daughter's belly <laughs> that's what she wanted she wanted to cut a little close you know a little up thank y'all so 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 much up oh, hey miss lena door welcome in queen and Miss Rochelle Vanderpool, welcome in, Queen. Naomi Bunn, welcome in, Queen. Anybody tuning in from Facebook, I appreciate you guys for being here. If you said anything in the chat, I missed it. I apologize, um, but I appreciate you for being there. She reminds me of my daughter, Kiara. They both do the same poses. Girl, it's... And Kiara is K I A R A, and yours is Kyra. Do you pronounce it Kyra or Kaya Kiara? Everyone, please have a great day. I've got to go play with you. go play with your granddaughter. Have a good day, Queen. I appreciate you for being here. I appreciate all of y'all for being here because you don't have to be. Um, you don't have to be. YouTube is free. You can go anywhere you want, but y'all chose to be here with me, and I appreciate you uh facebook is free and you chose to be here with me i appreciate you i'm so sorry about the TikTok thing i'm gonna have to work on that i don't know what's going on but whatever i tried and i'm gonna keep trying until i get it right because i'm not a failure so TikTok, i'm coming for y'all i just gotta figure out how to make y'all work over here with what i'm doing period um like Kyra. Okay, like Kyra. That's what I thought. Most of them that don't have the A is like Kyra. Um, so if anything, anybody got anything going on, y'all stay tuned. I may be live tomorrow, depending on someone's schedule. I'll let y'all know. Um, if we do go live tomorrow, it'll be a collaboration. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all probably just don't want to miss it. Who knows? I don't know. But what I want to know is did anybody learn anything from this live today and i'm gonna wait for y'all to answer because i really want to know if y'all learned anything from this live today um we are praying for this design to get her multi-needle embroidery machine whatever god see fit that's the one she she's going to get also bass chick whatever god see fit is you are going to get that embroidery machine and also let me see somebody else wanted an embroidery robin murphy i believe if i stand correctly y'all y'all correct me okay and who else yes robin okay like he yeah. Oh, key error. That's how I say, I say my daughter's name. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for being here. Taking out y'all time uh, to come and be here with me. Okay. So I love y'all until hopefully tomorrow. If not, the next video that y'all see from me, I will be skydiving. Okay, boo-boo. <laughs> 
So y'all keep us in y'all prayers and everything that we make it there safely, return home safely, jump out the plane safely, no broken bones, back. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to jump out of that plane and my hair just stand up on top of my head. You know what I mean? Like they just be flying all over. That's what I want. That's exactly what I want my picture to look like. I want my hair to be like this. Not like this. I want it to be like this. I have, I want my hair to be like this. When I'm going down, I want it just to be free, bubba. <laughs> free. Catch that wind, baby. I want it to catch the wind. My sister said, what if the wind is so strong, your locks come out like they come off? I mean, because it is attached to my head, right? But she was like, what if the wind is so strong and it knock your locks out? And I was like, well, girl, at least I know where they went because I have lost two locks and I cannot find them. <laughs> and my daughter was like, uh, mama, what happened to your hair? Like when she redid my hair one time and I was like, girl, I don't know. I don't know what happened to them locks. I don't know if, if somebody ate them or if I, you know, I, I, I just don't know. I, I just don't know. Um, Miss Rochelle, you cannot video the jump yourself, but I did get my son, my baby boy, paid for me to do the videography uh, for the jump. So I will have footage, boo-boo. Now, if my tongue is hanging out on my mouth and everything, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just mind y'all business. Okay. <laughs> mind your business. But your girl is going to, yeah. Why you wait till you why you wait till you 22 to want to jump out the plane, girl? Because I did, I am. <laughs> Who in here 22 like me? Want to jump out of the plane? No, because my son 25. So I'm 27 and he's 25. Father, in the name of Jesus, baby. Yes. Uh, say it with your chest out, Miss Lena. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that unbiased slash Rachel make it safely to and from in and out of the plane. Okay? <laughs> safely. Y'all, I can't wait. To wear my bucket hat and my puff. We're going out to eat Saturday. And this is going to be my outfit. Where my name at? Okay. Oh, I forgot I got a ponytail. But uh, this is going to be one of my outfits. Y'all, I got a ponytail. That's why it won't go down. Okay. So it don't sit up like a, you know, like the, uh, what you call them people? Um, the cat in the hat. <laughs> The cat in the hat. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Oh, let me turn it around so you can see my name again. <laughs> Y'all see my name? <laughs> Y'all see my name? Oh. They gonna be looking at me. They gonna be looking at me. And I'm cook. I'm cook. <laughs> Yes, honey. Okay, y'all, y'all, I gotta go. I'm already nervous. Miss Miss Deborah, don't be nervous. Be excited. Be excited. All right, y'all. So I love y'all. I'm gonna say this for the last time. I promise. My daughter say, Mama, you say that so many times and you still don't get off because you don't be ready to get off. Sometimes I don't. But Oh, they, they rounding up the posse on me, okay? <laughs> so I got to get off. I got to go. I don't be wanting to go, but I got to go. So, yes, y'all, we made the shirt. She wore the shirt. She showed y'all the shirt. It's absolutely beautiful. And until next time, you guys. See you guys. Oh, Miss Cynthia living with the MS. Hey, Queen. 
um y'all go follow Miss Cynthia you're living with MS too because um she's on a health journey and baby sister is over there killing the game baby I don't know why I just staggered right there but whatever all right but I love y'all see y'all later okay 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 mm -hmm.